beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully great. And welcome to my top 5 most forgotten melee weapons of 2021 part 2. This particular video was requested by a subscriber. His name is Brian Nito. Shout out to him for requesting this video. If you guys want me to cover any topic that's Warframe related, let me know down in the comments section. But before I continue with the video, please spot and kick the subscribe button for more Warframe videos and let's do this. So coming up on our number one spot, we have the Glaive Prime. Now the Glaive Prime is basically a frisbee with blades that returns to your hand regardless of the distance you have thrown it. Now the Glaive Prime only matches a certain playstyle, but if you guys know how to utilize that particular playstyle, it can be extremely powerful. Now the ups and downs when it comes to the Glaive Prime is as follows. So the Glaive Prime, when you do a charged throw, you deal a guaranteed critical slash. And as you guys know from all of my melee builds, if you guys can do crit slash procs, you basically have the perfect recipe for bypassing armor. Because bypassing armor is the biggest issue in this game. The only problem with the Glaive Prime is, is that the way the stance works, it's very wonky, it doesn't really function that well. And also some of your follow-up strikes are relatively slow. So that's why I'm saying the Glaive Prime is only good for those who can master its special playstyle. However, a cool thing about the Glaive Prime is, is that if you guys have a single-handed pistol, that being the latter or that being the Euphana, what you guys will automatically do is, in your left hand, you'll have the pistol, and your right hand, you'll have the Glaive Prime. So you'll kind of feel really powerful. I quite enjoy this playstyle because you can like throw it, chop people up, and start using your pistol. It kind of makes me feel like more of an interactive hero in such a way. So yeah, that is the Glaive Prime. I highly recommend you guys go pick it up. I think given this current time, it should be vaulted. So sit back, relax, and wait patiently for it to come out. And do not buy it for plat because let me tell you, the prices are probably high. On our number two spot, we have the Bow Prime. This weapon right here is long forgotten by the community. Initially, it came out with Loki's Prime Access. In fact, it was his signature weapon. The reason why this weapon became so forgotten was because of one major drawback, and that is the Bow Prime's dominant physical damage type is Impact. And if you guys have been living under a rock, basically, Impact is the weakest damage type in the entire game. The reason behind this is because when it comes to fighting enemies, there's one major concern and that is armored units. Armor is very hard to get through to. The only damage type that can get through to that is either viral, corrosive and the most dominant one, that being slash. However, thanks to melee 3.0, impact hasn't been better but it just means that slash doesn't entirely destroy it because slash used to go through shields. Now with melee 3.0, it no longer does. Impact is better for shields, but you can just put gas and you can go right through those things, or even toxin. So anyways, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and try the Bow Prime, because it's actually a really good weapon, especially using it now in the time of making this video. It's got a very fast attack speed, it's got good range, it's got a high critical chance, the stays is not too bad, and the base damage is actually relatively high. So go ahead and get this weapon, I definitely tell you guys it is vaulted because you know it came out with loki's prime access so do not buy this weapon with plat just sit back relax and wait until it gets released moving on to our number three spot we have a polearm not just any ordinary polearm we have the polearm to many warframe players this weapon stands for history nostalgia the rise of warframe and to many others including myself our first prime Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Orthos Prime. This weapon is the ultimate beginner weapon. In fact, most veterans still probably use this weapon for nostalgia purposes. Now, the reason why I say this is probably the best noob weapon is because it deals a lot of damage. Okay, you've got high critical chance, you've got high slash, you've got lots of range. And on top of that, you also have fast attack speed perfect weapon for the beginner players for Warframe. And the best part, this weapon will never ever be vaulted. It's one of those primes that are in the game by default, that way everyone can have a taste of each and every single prime that's out there. It's more like a sample of what's out there in the game. The Orthos Prime is probably the reason why we have Warframe today because 
Most players, when they got this thing, it was shiny, it was cool, you felt powerful, because you know it dealt a lot of damage, had a lot of range, and a whole bunch of lots of stuff. And then, this weapon is essentially the grandmother or grandfather, or whichever title is the highest. This weapon is the grandparent of melee weapons. If the Altos Prime was never introduced to Warframe, I guarantee you, we would not be here playing this game. Coming in at our number 4 spot, we have a sword and shield called Sigma and Octonctus. This is a one of a kind weapon. Now why I say that is because this is the only sword and shield weapon out there where you can actually throw your shield and hit the enemies with them. In order to do this, you guys have to jump up in the air with the weapon equipped. While you guys are mid air, you guys have to then melee attack and based off of the direction that you guys are looking, that shield will land there. Now, if you guys hit the shield with an enemy, what's going to happen is you'll open the enemy up to an execution. If that does not happen, then it'll just deal a lot of damage. But I think it is kind of cool because throwing your shield, I've always wanted to do that. Also, go and pick this weapon up. It's also a very rare weapon and hard to obtain one. The only way that you guys can obtain this weapon is through a daily login bonus. You guys have to hit a major login bonus. Once you guys hit that, you'll have a choice of three weapons. The Sigma and Octonctus, the Zenistar, and then a machine gun. Don't bother with the machine gun. I think it is garbage. Just go and get yourself Sigma and Octonctus. During this time of Warframe, melee weapons are the most powerful in the entire game. I no longer use weapons because I love melee weapons. I actually have a lot of fun using them. On top of that, the Sigma Anarchonctus has high crit, high slash, and has really fast movements. Best dance to use, in my opinion, actually can be anything, but I like the Final Harbinger. It gives you a lot of mobility and fast attacks. So guys, make sure to log in daily, and one day you'll then hit the major login bonus. So go ahead and pick up the Sigma and Octonctus. It'll definitely be worth your time. And finally, on our number five spot, we have the Guillotine Prime. Now, the Guillotine Prime was the very first heavy blade to be released in Warframe. Not the Prime version, but the regular Guillotine. Now, the regular Guillotine at the time, you guys could go and get it from the store. And let me tell you, you definitely would want it because it's a huge sword in fact the sword was so big that it was longer than your warframes body okay the guillotine prime initially came out with necros's prime access it is currently vaulted so sit back relax and wait until it gets unvaulted now the guillotine is definitely a good weapon so go ahead and pick it up when it gets unvaulted because like i've said before high crit high status high slash you guys can just bypass armor and not worry about it. As you guys can see in the background gameplay, I'm mowing through the steel path enemies. And like we all know, armor is a big issue when it comes to the game. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for today's video. If you guys liked the video or if it's helped you, leave a like. Spot and kick the subscribe button for more Warframe videos. I'm going to make like a banana and split.